To add a product, either an appointment, appointment pack, classes or merchandise, go to settings and under product, select product list. This will open a list of all your products. Click the red add product button in the top right hand corner. For quicker access, if you know whether you would like to add a specific product, go to settings and under products you can click add appointment or add merchandise to take you straight to the product creation page. To add an appointment or any classes, fill out the product details by choosing a title, selecting the product type from the drop down menu, select one or more categories, the appointment duration and the maximum number of clients allowed in the appointment when booking. Set the pricing and tax for your appointment. Enable this toggle if you would like the pricing for the appointment to be different for each of your team members. In the more details box, you can add a product description and color to be displayed in the calendar. Select the reminder template from the drop down menu. When you schedule this appointment in the calendar, this reminder template can be used. You can learn how to set up reminder templates in our marketing and reminder templates article. You can also add a product image. Set up online booking for your appointment by filling in the appropriate details. Use these toggles to set the appointment for first time or returning clients. Select locations for the appointment by ticking the checkboxes. You can also assign the appointment to all or only some of your team members by ticking the checkboxes here. Select both a calendar appointment form and an online booking form from the corresponding drop down menus. These will be automatically added to your appointment for your client to fill out. And click save. To add an appointment package, additional information is required to fill out the product details box. Simply add how many appointments are included in the pack here. Appointments can then be removed from the pack automatically as clients use them. When adding merchandise, include how much of the merchandise is in stock and the value to be notified of low stock. You can also add the barcode for the product. If you have variants of your merchandise product, select this toggle here to add them. Fill out the remaining product details, location and assign to team members. If you would like your merchandise to be sold in point of sale, ensure this toggle is turned on. To edit a pre-existing product, simply go to settings and select product lists under products. Click on the product you would like to manage and edit the details accordingly. You can do this at any time. To delete a product, go back to the product list page and tick the checkbox on the right. You can then choose whether you would like to archive or delete the product by clicking these red buttons here. 